Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. We needed to shoot a short instructional video for the people who've purchased a DHAP that does not include the Raspberry Pi or the SD card. So, uh, so let's get into it. When you receive your machine, it'll look like this. The first thing you need to do is with a Phillips screwdriver is just back out the screws on the case and it's pretty easy to tell when they're far enough they'll come loose real quick open the case and you'll see the interior of the DHAP um, without of course the uh, the DVAP dongle and without the Raspberry Pi or the SD card with a Phillips screwdriver back out that single screw maybe a half inch a little less you'll notice when you look at the rear that the uh, that the screws in the back that there's there's only one uh, that you're interested in and it's the one that's a, a Phillips um, its counterpart here is a hex head um, uh, and that's just to make it easier in the field. You're a lot more likely to have a, a Phillips screwdriver handy. In any event, back this screw out. That will allow you to swing the chassis open. Now when you do that, it looks like a bit of a mess because the pie is not in there, of course, to kind of tie everything together. In your package, will be a bag that has some grommets and some screws. You actually only need two screws and two grommets. Um, we've added an extra of each just because uh, uh, real life tends to intrude. They're easy to drop, easy to lose. Um, you might appreciate having an extra. So in any event, um, take these items out so they're available for you. Take your Raspberry Pi. And as I'm sure you're aware, there's two mounting holes on the Pi. One is here. The other is here. Those are what you'll use to secure the Pi to the interior of the DHAP. Now, when you're finished, what you'll have will look like this. Now we'll refer to this a few times as we work, but as I'm sure you'd figure out fairly quickly, with the Pi in place, the RCA, the 8th inch stereo mini jack, the two USBs, one goes directly to the DVAP dongle, the other goes directly to the front faceplate for the USB data port. You also have your HDMI here. You've got the micro USB which powers the Pi and interfaces with the Pi. And then you have your SD card. So we'll set this finished machine aside for a moment and we'll take another look at what you've got in your new machine. Now if you look closely you'll see a couple of holes. One is here, the other is here. Those screws have already been threaded for the small screws that came with your machine. 
So using the grommets and the two screws, we're going to secure the pie to the chassis. And the best way we've come up with to do this is to position the grommets and then to lay the pie in place. And then to insert the screws. Now at this point, definitely don't be aggressive with the screws. You're putting them into place, you're getting them started, but you're not cinching them down. In fact, they aren't cinched down, even in final assembly. This screw if it were inserted too far would compress the little rubber grommet and protrude here and that would interfere with the DVAP where it wants to nest. So the first thing to be aware of is that this screw is only deep enough to be almost flush here. You don't want it sticking up at all above this surface. This screw will seem to you to be maybe not far enough in. There's actually a little bit of play. Don't know if you'll be able to quite see that. Not only are we not compressing that little grommet, we're actually a little bit shy of pinching the grommet at all. You want this movement in the pie. The main thing that the grommets do, aside from providing some shock absorption, is they prevent the pie from being attached too far against the chassis and hitting the soldered leads that are on the back of the board. As soon as you begin attaching wires here, the, the pie is going to firm up. This movement is going to stop almost entirely. And all the different wires are kind of cradling and, and securing that pie. If you take this screw and shoot it too deeply, then the USB here won't have the clearance it needs to clear the back of the battery right here. You'll see that as we do it. So the first thing I'm going to connect is the USB that connects to the DVAP dongle. Um, and that actually has been uh, probably our toughest connection. Um, we've had uh, troubles getting, uh, getting uh, enough supply in of a consistent type of cable. Um, and things are very tight. You'll notice on your machine We've had to modify the, uh, the connection to the, the, the DVAP. Actually had to remove the knuckle, the molded piece. Um, there's not enough room to turn the corner necessary to keep this thing so compact. Um, and also, this cable is longer than we'd like. So, I'm going to route this cable. I'm going to bring it underneath the pie and double it back. This will not only consume some of the cable length, but it's part of what contributes to the pie getting more and more stable as things are connected. So I've connected the white USB to the port on the pie, and you can see right away the pie firms up. I'm going to connect our 8th inch stereo mini, our RCA, 
And while I'm doing that, I'm going to verify that these cables have remained in their little channel, which is easy enough to make sure. You can just press down and make sure those wires are nice and secure there. Just keeps it clean and out of the way. Now I'm going to take our other USB. This is the data port that remotes to the front plate of the DHAP. I'm going to install it. Now we have our Ethernet connection. That is remoted here, out the back of the machine. I'm going to connect it to the Pi. And incidentally, if you ever need to remove this connection for some reason, you don't need to remove the Pi. This opening, this hole, serves two purposes. One is to allow you to, with a pencil or, or a probe, to be able to hit the release latch on this Ethernet plug. And that will allow you to pop it out. The other purpose for this opening is to allow the remote antenna extension, which comes from here, to the interior of the case. That hole is what you would pass that antenna extension through in order to connect it to the DVAP if you wanted to run a remote antenna. In any event, we've got both USBs, our Ethernet, the Stereo Mini, and the RCA all connected to the Pi. This next one can be a little fussy mostly because there's a lot going on, but you can see the mini USB, actually I'm sorry, it's a micro USB, and we're going to plug this in to the Pi, even though clearance is a bit tight, you'll get it fairly quickly. One thing to be mindful of here is that your SD card plugs in right there and it has to slip right past these wires. That's part of why you'll see in your machine these wires are bundled together and then zip tied here to try to hold them nice and tight in the position we want them in so that SD card can be inserted easily. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is to connect the HDMI and this connection can feel like it fights you a little bit but the thing to remember is that this is secured to the chassis here and that's what ensures that this can be opened and closed without putting a strain on the connection to the Pi. So you've installed the, the Pi computer, you've connected everything up, you've inserted your SD card, Now when we close this chassis, one of the things that we're mindful of is looking in here and being sure that we're not really pinching any of those wires. You want it to come home to this point. And there is some resistance. It pushes back a little bit and that's okay. Probably the easiest mistake to make is for this USB cable to be allowed to loop too far towards the rear of the machine. If this cable 
comes out much farther than you see it here. When you close it, that cable will interfere with this ledge, which is clearance for the battery. You can imagine that closing and the battery occupying that space. So if you close it to about this point and immediately feel resistance that doesn't yield easily, open it back up and make sure that this cable is tucked far enough this direction. So we're going to close this back up. And in this case, you could go ahead and install your DV dongle. Put the cover back in place. Close it up like this. Drop the screws into position. Shoot the screws. And now, your machine is ready to go. So I wanted to thank everybody for their... Uh, for their purchase and their participation in our, our new machine. Um, please be aware that we have uh, a, a user group now on uh, Google Groups. The name of the group is MyDHAP, just like it sounds, MyDHAP. Um, it's a small group right now. It's just uh, a handful of customers that have joined. Um, and we'll see where it goes. You know, we're, we're certainly hoping that it turns into kind of a go-to place if people have uh, questions or comments or issues or tips or tricks or mods. Um, uh, hopefully it turns into a real nice resource. And, uh, uh, you know, we've got a couple of computers here in the shop, and we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on, uh, on activity on that group, um, and we'll be participating as well. So in any event... I wanted to thank everybody again. Come visit us at PortableUniversalPower.com. Check out our YouTube channel, Harden Power. Uh, Facebook and Twitter are both Harden Power. And uh, once again, everybody, we appreciate it. Please enjoy your machines, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.